Hey guys, so today we are at a photography course which is called the Sydney Splendour. It's actually run by Mark Gray Photography. So this is a course that my mother and I... Hi. <laughs> we booked actually mid last year to happen in November, but of course COVID happened. So now it's been pushed back to January, so we're here today. So we have a jam-packed day today. So the first point on our itinerary is at Mrs. McCory's chair, which is just over there. And the guy in the cap just standing there on his phone, his name <laughs> is actually Harry Caravias. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. He will be our instructor for today. Um, I did a little bit of Facebook stalking and he's, his photos are absolutely amazing. So I'm excited to see what he shows us today and to see what we learn. I'll read you through some of the itinerary, which I've just got below me here. Da -da. So we actually got here early because we had to park all the way down at Circular Quay and walk all the way over. So we thought we'd get here early and just enjoy the view, really. So actually, I'll show you guys some of the view. See how nice is it? It's a beautiful day. So yeah, so as my mum just said, she's 100% right. Today is a beautiful day. So we're looking at, I think, tops of 23 or 24. Yep. There's not a cloud in the sky, so good photographing weather. <laughs> All right, so um, the first point, like I said before, is at Mrs. Macquarie's chair. Um, and then we're going to have a bit of a discussion where he's going to teach us about some camera setup and our exposure. And then at 12 o'clock, we're going to uh, a place called Mrs. Macquarie's Lookout, which I think is just over there. That's where we were before when we arrived. Um, and then we're having morning tea at the Opera Kitchen. Um, and then at 1.15, we're going to the Opera Bar and we're going to shoot the Sydney Harbour Bridge View. So that'll be interesting. I don't think I've ever been that close to the Sydney Opera House. So I'm quite keen for that. And then at 1.45 we're shooting at the Cahill Expressway, which is a uh, Sydney Harbour view. And then 2.15 is Susanna Place Museum Doorway, The Rocks. And then we've got a delicious two-course lunch at 2.45. Uh, how do you say that? Cam Caminetto? Camine Caminito? It's an Italian restaurant, so it should yeah. be good. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got some more technical discussions. And then at 7.30 we'll be shooting at Luna Park Milsons Point. And then 8.15 is Milsons Point Sydney Opera House in the Harbour Bridge view. So at sunset. At sunset. Which and then it good. finishes at 9. So it is a long day. So 10.30 till 9 p.m. That's a very long day. We're going to be bugger bugging into it. We are. <laughs> Lots of walking. Lots of walking. All right, so before we head over to Harry to start the course for the day, we thought we'd discuss some of our goals or even our expectations for today's course because neither of us have ever done a photography course like this and I'm sure you guys are pretty much exactly the same. So that's the goal of today's video is to show you guys what courses like this are like and whether they're even worth going on. So you want to start with your goals and what you expect from today? Yep, I'm just a novice photographer. Um, I love beautiful photos and I would be super keen and proud to actually be able to take them. So <laughs> I love sunsets, I love landscaping, so I would love to be able to capture the photos and actually have a good quality that it's worth showing and printing. No, oh, yeah, nice. And learn how to use my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Exposures, <laughs> jargon, ISO, <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me? No idea. <laughs> I think I need a drink with that. <laughs> so this course will be great for mum. So for me, I think my goal for today is to work a bit better on my compositions. I know I'm, I'm fairly, what am I trying to say? You're a little bit better at photography mm. than the average person. Yeah, I'd call myself a semi-professional when it comes to photography. So I know about yeah. the ISO, the aperture, the shutter speed and all that kind of stuff. But in terms of composition, I feel like I need to work on that a bit more. So I'd love to get some tips from Harry today about how to compose my images to kind of make them look that professional quality. So that's my goal for today. So we'll see how we go. I'm excited. Thanks, And guys. to get the horizon straight, because you're always picking on my photos for yeah, the not that's what Photoshop <laughs> does. Photoshop can make pictures straight. So I don't need to learn that. <laughs> but you're always saying I'm getting that part right. So this ought to be good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we'll check in with you later. We'll see how we're going. Bye. Bye. Photographing landscapes uh, for the last 16 plus years has been going for a while. Um, he has a gallery in the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. Uh, his latest photo, uh, which won him multiple awards, is the Iceland photo where um, you see there's a hole at the end where the sun comes through and it just paints the inside of the cave. Uh, lovely blue orange colours. Uh, that got him uh, number one uh, in one of the awards just recently. He also runs three days and five days workshop tours, actually, the uh, photography tours. Uh, not necessarily workshops, they are to a degree, uh, but because uh, it's it's on the go and there's location, 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 so much to do over three, five days, there is a little bit of uh, workshop involved. That's why he's 
juices is one day you get the learning the lead weight to be able to go and do those workshops afterwards. So yeah, he runs them here in Australia and you can see three or five days. Now a bit of background on myself. Um, I've been photographing for the last four years, landscape photography, photography predominantly. I have exhibited around places like uh, salons, restaurants, cafe uh, shops. I did my very first uh, exhibition back in uh, March uh, 2019. Now my um, uh, knowledge of Mark, uh, I met him back in 2010 where I did my um, photography workshop with him. It was a three day on uh, Great Ocean Road. Um, six workshops later, uh, I've known Mark for the last four years. After today, if you get an opportunity, please look at one of his tours, whether it be three day, five day, Australia, overseas. Obviously, it's going to be a bit difficult at the moment because of COVID, but it's, it's totally different to what we're doing today. Yeah. And you will enjoy it immensely. I've done seven of them. There's a good reason for that. Yeah. All right, guys, so far we're only two hours into the course, and already my mind has been blown. The amount of just little tricks that we've been taught, oh, stuff that we've so learned, much. like it's just little things. Like for example, prior to today, I had no idea what the hell a histogram is, and apparently, oh, how to use it? Yeah, apparently it's essential to photography, especially getting the photo perfect before you go to edit it later Exposure. to make sure you've got everything properly. So that was really fascinating. Yes. Oh, um, I learned how to use that graph that would you put it on zero, the needle. I kind oh, of referred to so the needle, didn't know how to use mom, it, didn't know what Mum learnt today what metering is, so that's the little yes. thing that I was telling you guys about in one of my videos on how to use manual mode on a camera. The little metering scale at the bottom, so whether it's um, overexposed, not underexposed, she learnt what that is today, so <laughs> she's, she's quite excited. So let's walk a bit faster to catch up with the team. But yeah, honestly, it's amazing so far. Harry is such a passionate photographer. He's just oh, the stuff he's teaching us. And explain what depth of field means and explained it in relation to taking photos. Yes. So, and he gave us examples too, like, you know, objects that are closer to the camera um, and what uh, aperture you would use and for that. Yeah. yeah. And what aperture and you would use if you just uh, photographed something that's in the foreground, sorry, as in, in the middle ground, as in nothing in the foreground. Um, I think that's about it. But yeah, we won't give too much away, guys, because obviously this is a course that you pay for. So. I'll just give you drips and drops. So at the moment, like well worth the money. Yep. We're on our way over to morning tea at the well, moment. Morning tea. <laughs> so keen for morning tea. I'm starving. So plus she needs to wee. So <laughs> edit that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye. Hey guys, just quickly, I also forgot to mention that the camera that I'm using for today's photography course is the D3400. So, um, as you guys would have heard in one of my previous videos, it's actually a basic beginner's camera. So, I wanted to, I purposely brought this camera to this course because I wanted to show you guys that, like, despite the fact that it's a beginner's basic camera, you can still take some pretty amazing shots. So, I'm going to prove that to you guys today. Um, and again, also, it's just because it's got limited functions to it, so it's just easy to focus on just the three elements of photography um, and not have to worry about all the crazy other features. But there's another guy here who has an absolutely amazing camera, and I'm dying to find out what kind of camera he's got because it's massive and it's got the cool little screen at the top. And yeah, so I'll find out later today for you guys. Um, and Mum was also mentioning that Harry. Uh, Harry, who is our instructor for the day, Sorry, we'll just quickly jump out of this. <laughs> Harry, who is our instructor for the day, he actually has his own photography business as well and he does his own photography tours. So out at the Blue Mountains. Yeah, out in the Blue Mountains, which is right where we live. So I'll be keen to do one of his courses as well and catch up with him again. So it'd be great. All right, guys, catch you later. Bye.
Hey guys, so it's currently 9.30 and I do apologise. I did say I was going to be filming throughout the day to give you guys progress on how the tour is going, but it was just one of those courses where you're learning so much every single minute. I didn't exactly have the time to whip out my camera and quickly film some footage of how the day was going. So um, I was too busy taking lots of pictures, but it was so much fun and we had a great time. So just to kind of recap on what we did. So when we first met Harry and the course started, we were given this really cool book. So basically it's got everything that was run through today in one book so we can refer to it in the future. So I think that's actually really handy. And it has a page at the back, actually a few pages at the back where we can write some notes. I took a lot of notes today. There was a lot of information today. It was brilliant. Oh, that's right. I wanted to check my steps. So I'll get you to hold that while I check my steps. Because I think that would be really interesting because we did a lot of walking today. And I would like to share... Oh, here we go. <laughs> wow. So, today we did 18,371 steps. So 13 is, kilometers. <laughs> so that is pretty much walking around the entire city. And we did walk over the Harbour Bridge today, which was absolutely amazing. It was pretty much a highlight of my day because I've never done that before. It was really cool. <laughs> also, at the back of this technical notes book that we get, um, Mark is even nice enough to give um, every one of his customers who do the day courses a $300 off gift voucher on one of his three to five um, day three courses. Or five yeah, three or five day courses. Yeah. So, which is actually really cool because um, you have to actually do one of these day courses to get the beginner basics before you're actually qualified to do the three or five day courses. So um, it's actually really nice of him to kind of give us that $300 credit. So thank you, Mark. <laughs> Another thing that I learned about today that I wasn't expecting to learn about is filters. So for example, um, I learned how to use the, cir I think that it's called the circ polar circular, circular, polar yeah, circular polarizer oh, filter. So. In all honesty, I always thought they were useless, but they're actually really handy at um, diffusing the, I guess, the dull sky. Yes, when it looks just boring blue. <laughs> when it's boring blue or very, like, um, what's the word for it? Bright. Yes. <laughs> when it's really bright, it helps dull it down a bit, so that way it kind of exposes your overall picture a bit It brings better. out the blues. I, probably, I feel like I explained that really badly, but it's 9.30 and I'm like, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Good um, so I guess um, a takeaway from these kind of courses is that I highly recommend taking pen and paper because you will need to take a lot of notes. I brought a pen but stupid me didn't bring paper but it was obviously good that Mark gave us this book because we had somewhere, I had somewhere to write all this stuff but if just in case you, you don't do a Mark Gray photography tour or you do it with someone else definitely take pen and paper because you will need it, you'll be taking heaps of notes. And you'll want to remember it. You will want to remember it. And, the thing is, it, it's so true when they say practice, 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 because a lot of stuff you learnt today, you can so easily forget tomorrow. So always practice, um, you know, keep up to date with using the settings. That way, um, you just become a better photographer that way. So 100% recommend And know your camera. Know where everything yeah. is, because you need to change things quickly. Yeah, and you need they to recommend know how to do it. things like, you know, sitting in a dark room and trying to like learning every single button on your camera, learning where it is. So that way, if you're ever in a situation where it is dark and you are trying to get to like a certain button or setting you know exactly where it is and you're not like burning precious time trying to figure out where that button is and losing the it. shot yeah losing the shot so just little things like that Learn lots of awesome tips and tricks i don't want to share all with you guys because obviously this is a paid course so i'm going to be careful with what i do and don't share but essentially i myself from my perspective 100 worth it worth every penny i'd I'm actually planning on doing lots of other courses. We were already talking about it this yeah, morning. Boys, we yeah. want to go to Blue Mountains. We want to go do some three, four or five day courses with Mark because we think it's just going to be absolutely amazing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, anything else? All I want to say is I learned to take photos of the city at night time and to capture yeah. the colours. I've never been able to do that. It was so easy. Mm. Yeah. But I just had the setting wrong and didn't know it. Yeah. So she's just discovered her addiction to night photography. Yeah. So welcome to the club. Thank you. It did take a bit, but we got it there eventually. But no, honestly. And I could do it confidently. He could come up to me and say, you need to change the exposure. Yeah. You need to change this. I could find it and do it. Yeah. That's he, something he I loved couldn't do. That by the end of the day, he could just be like, okay, guys, we're going to use this setting and we could all just go click 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 here we go it. so yeah. we were proud yeah, we were proud we were happy we liked it <laughs> yeah. so, um, good day by all yeah definitely graduated to the next level <laughs> for sure <laughs> alright guys so thank you for joining me in today's video it was actually a heap of fun bringing you along on this little field trip um, again sorry I couldn't share too much but even more reasons for you guys to go do your own photography Rubber course so, this is like a bit of a teaser so go do your own photography course definitely worth it 
All right, guys, I think we're signing off for tonight. Yep. I'm we're done. We're I don't really have anything else to say. One more thing before I sign off. Okay, one more thing before I go. That's <laughs> fast. Okay, one more thing before I go. Okay, one more thing before I go. So you guys would have noticed that today's filming was a bit more of a vlog style of video. So I'd be interested to see what you guys thought of this type of video. Comment below whether you like it or if there's anything else you want me to cover or anywhere else I would love to go. Or you sorry, anywhere else you would like me to go. Put it in the comments below and I'll be sure to reply. I can't wait to see you all next Wednesday. Okay, I'm leaving now. Bye.